fancy doing. Yeah. Fancy a well camp? Yeah. We're about. Up there. Up there, eh? Oh, the boss is good on the other side. Aye, why not? Let's do it. Let's go. Well hello and good morning from Karoor Station If you haven't already guessed that's where we are We are heading up Lem Ulium Which is a Corbett at 909 metres Loose plan is to well camp it uh, Or boffy uh, We'll play by you So there's two routes up this There's a track comes up here and then it's a bit boggy you come up this ridge and up that steep point there to the summit or there's actually a really good Land Rover track that goes all the way up this ridge here and it takes you just in behind the summit now we're going for this route just because we've got heavy packs and avoid that steep bit there but uh, you can make it a loop if you wish What's the time, Kev? Wrap o'clock. Wrap o'clock. Hmm. That's good wrap. So this body of water is the Blackwater Reservoir. It's looking lovely in that light. It was looking even better, but this black cloud blocked off a little bit. And you've got Rannock Moor stretching out down towards Bridge Orky with the Caras. Superb boss. Lem Ulium translates to William's Leap and was named after Major William Caldfield, who succeeded General George Wade's road building in the Highlands of Scotland in 1732. His road building programme seen over 900 miles of roads built and 600 bridges, costing a record £9,500. After leaving the summit of Lem Ulium, we decided to head to the Boffey. Here we go, lovely deep snow. Just remember, every mile in winter is two. Oh, come on. I could do with some snowshoes. <laughs> That's four o'clock now, we've been uh, going since 11 when we got off the train. I can just see the boffy now. It's probably about a kilometre as the crow flies, we just got a wee bit of, of a steep descent first. But I'll swivel the camera around and show you the views. So the boffy is just, you probably can't see it because whitewashed wall, it's just there at the loch. And then got the Blackwater Reservoir here that you can probably just see and the sun's going to set just behind um, Bukalitev Beak and uh, Bidjan Nambian. There's no signs of life down there, can't see any smoke coming out the chimney, nobody wandering around or anything so we have nothing to burn, it's going to be a cold night tonight. <laughs> just disturbed some deer and I bet the GoPro doesn't pick them up. See it just scarping down the hill there. 
one, two, three, four, five. I wish I could get down the hill that fast. <laughs> I'd be in the boff in about five minutes. Here's where one of the, the deer was sitting and you can see where it's scarpered off. Oh, you can still smell them. Oh, funky. Funky animals. I should get some Pantene Pro-V on that coat of theirs. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm just going to carry on down towards the boffy. Well, that's the boffy right behind me. It's just a river crossing that stands between me and having a break. That was a tough descent. As you know when the snow just sits on top of the heller and you're just slipping all the time, it's a nightmare. That wasn't too bad. God bless trekking poles though. It was just one wee slippy bit because there's moss on the stones so just take your time. All right, let's get in the boffy. <laughs> well, we've been in about well, half an hour, 45 minutes, and the boffy's pretty cold. Can't complain because by the power of Grayskull, somebody has left us two fire logs. Honestly, that's like a lottery win tonight. I knew that karma would pay off. The arse always leave a log behind. Absolutely telling it. The forest in a boffy without a fire was not filling me with joy. You don't so. have the boffy TVs, huh? Mm -hmm. Two to three hours burning time, these ones are better than the ones we get. Nice one. Honestly, if whoever left these watching, thank you very much. Thank you. And I'll wait for a little bit of heat later on. Off the TV is raining. I tell you what, to have a fire tonight is brilliant because the forty sitting in a boffy without a fire wasn't filling me with joy. The so <laughs> I was up for a summit camp to be fair. <laughs> you couldn't camp in that way. The winds were just horrendous. Nah. Big day tomorrow though, is it? Well. Aye, tomorrow we can get a lift or not. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow we're uh, we're going to walk to Glencoe, and I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll take you to the uh, Blackwater Dam, and I'll show you the Navy's graveyard, and then after that we'll walk down towards the West Highland Way, and then we'll, we'll turn up and we'll go up the uh, Devil's Staircase, and then drop back, drop down into Glencoe. Our bus is at do 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 it's twenty two. There's two. Yeah. No chance we'll get the earlier one. So we're aiming for the later one. Yeah. If we miss it, it's a seven mile walk down the West Highland Way back to Bridge Orkey. Or get the old thumb out for the, the lift. Old out. All right. Somebody will give us a lift. We should have had a bit of cardboard like we had the last time. Uh, Bridge Orkey. <laughs> some kind hill walker or maybe see us, see us, see the gear and just go, ah, yeah. just jump in land. I was just hovering about the car park for the big book on. <laughs> <laughs> you say, excuse me, you're heading south. Uh, Aye, right, Bolt, you're not getting a lift. <laughs> Jog on. You look minging, you're not getting out uh, of my car. Anyway guys, we're going to uh, clock out for now, we're going to enjoy the fire and probably head to bed. Uh, we'll bring you back in the morning. See you then, cheers. Good morning. It is half eight and we've uh, just left the boffy. <clears throat> it was a really clear starry night last night. Uh, temperatures got to about zero degrees, about two degrees inside the boffy. And uh, the fire petered out about just after 10 o'clock, so we just retired to our beds. So we're on the way to Blackwater Dam now. And I'll bring you back then. We've made it, that's us at the Blackwater Dam. It took us an hour and a half from Boffey to the dam, so it wasn't too bad. There were two river crossings 
on the way that might cause you a bit of bother if they were in spate but otherwise it was a fairly straightforward walk out you used to be able to cross this back in the day but for some reason they've decided to put this big muckle fence which I'm not going to attempt to uh, get over so instead we're going to take this route down below the dam to the other side but this is pretty cool if I kneel down that's the GoPro eye level with the lock, not the lock, the, the reservoir I know it's man made but it's a it's an impressive uh, body of water this in a stunning location Try not to think about how many gallons of water this huge lump of concrete is holding up <clears throat> There's a few big steps to make but uh, so far so good We don't like to fall in there. Big games up the pole, good night. Just think though you could destroy Kinlock Weaver and I push a button. <laughs> I'll press the button, James Bond. Do not challenge me. Here lay the remains of some of those who had died in the building of the Great Dam and the reservoir that lay behind it. Some names are scratched on the stones. John Mackenzie, W. Smith. Darkie Cunningham and curiously Mrs Riley, a lone woman in this male dominated environment. What stories lie behind these stones, gravestones not of marble and slate but the material which they such men what concrete. Another stone bears the word unknown, a reminder that these folk were the misfits of the day. It's certainly a sombre place. Facing the dam. In the shadows of the, the Mamore Mountains lies this little graveyard of the Irish navvies. Some of these navvies apparently lost their lives coming back from the King's House pub in the depths of winter. Back in the 1900s would be some pretty tough winters I'd imagine. I'd imagine these guys would like a, a pint or two as well. Not a good mix. This poor chap here is the same name as my granddad. Okay, so the West Highland Way is 30 metres above us, just over there um, So we're going to go off track just now and cut off a bit of an angle Continue that way for Kinloch Leaving obviously So, let's go I was hunting for the West Highland Way And like that, where is it? And boom, it's right there Look at that, happy days that's just made it to the top of the Devil's Staircase It's all downhill from now on <laughs> But uh, I'm just looking back at uh, Ben Nevis and the Mamores And uh, it's looking good Oh, pinging the camera now There you go Cut across it, visit it, there's an old grave eh? old graveyard there I am, is that alright? You okay on YouTube? Okay on being YouTube? There you go. I saw that on that um, program with the two lads who were mates who were uh, battling across Rye Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weeks ago, did you see it? It rings a bell actually. Yeah, it was a lovely program. I think we were two. Exactly two hours to catch this bus and we'll have to catch it at the, uh, the entrance of the ski centre so we've got a good few kilometres still to go 